Okay, we're having a look at the BMW E46 330Ci today. Now the car's 18 years old, but it's in pretty good condition. It's been pretty well looked after. Uh, one thing that's letting the side down a bit is this grill at the front bumper. See, it's all beat up. Now these normally go a sort of grey colour over the years. It's pretty common on these. And a few years ago, I repainted this. But you can see this paint starting to come away again. It's quite difficult piece to prep properly before painting. So anyhow, I've got a brand new one to go on. There's the part number for any of you that's interested. And we've got to re remove the front bumper to replace this part. So this will be a good uh, video for anyone who needs to remove the front bumper to do any other work. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we've got the front end of the car up on some wooden blocks here. You might want to use the jack and some jack stands, but either way, as long as you can get the front bumper up in the air to get underneath it. So let's have a look. Okay, there's two 8mm bolts, one here, one through this opening here, to the other side of the bumper. There's two large holes, one here, one the other side, which gives you access to the main bolts holding the bumper on. The E12s, they're like a reverse torque. There's two 8mm bolts to remove just inside each wheel arch there, two there too. We've also got three plastic clips to remove across the front here, and then that'll release the bumper from the car. What I find with the M Sport bumpers, the M Tech 2 bumpers, uh, getting these bolts out, the main bumper bolts, sometimes you just have to bend the bottom down just to get your hand up there to pull it out once you've undone it, and it should just slide right out. So once you've got all the bolts out, you're ready to remove the bumper away from the car. Now before you do so, you just want to edge it forward and there's four electrical connectors to remove. Two here, two the other side. I found these bulls were just easier to twist out than deal with the connector. So you want to undo them before you pull the bumper right away from the car. And then we're ready to have a look at the grill. So here we are, we've got the bumper removed from the car. Now we've got it face down on some cardboard just to avoid scratching the paintwork. Now there's this plastic piece that sits behind the grill here. Got to remove that first. So there's just these wee clips to pop open. That comes away, and then it'll be the same for the grill itself. Pretty straightforward. Okay, we've got the two old pieces out there, and we've got the new grill ready to go in here. You can see just how beat up the old one was. Okay, that's the new grill clipped in place, and you just want to look to centre it once it's in place. Then next we'll put this back over the top. Okay, so we've got it all back together now, it's all clipped in nicely. So when we first offer the bumper up, we want to reconnect our connectors. And then we're looking to slide these sections either side into the brackets here. So we'll get it all lined up nicely and then just push it forward. It should locate just right. Okay, so once you've pushed the bumper back on the car, you just want to check that you've got your wheel liners pushed in behind this outer lip. So they'll just want pushing in before you connect your two 8mm bolts. And then you want to install your two E12 long bolts. 
and just do them finger tight and then you just want to move the bumper about until you've got it lined up just where you want it before you crank them down and then obviously just the rest of the 8mm bolts and your plastic clips underneath. So the car looks a lot better with that new grill on now. It's freshened it up nicely. Anyway, I'm Emtech Guy. Thanks for watching.